Hello guys, I'm Orvan Fox Gamer, and today I'll be showing you a tutorial in 3ds Max and how to create a box. Please forgive me if there sounds like thunder, because that is thunder. It's raining now here. So let's begin by creating a box on the Create tab. Alt W for full screen. Let's make a box. Make this. 20, 20, 20, or whatever, 10, 15, whatever you like. Control, control, convert it to poly. There you go. Now, section, polygon section, control A to select all. Then going to inset, click this on the side of inset. Then click here, by polygon. As you can see, it's now selected separately. Scale it to whatever size you want. Press check or OK, then extrude. Same, same here by doing this on the other side. At other side, opposite. Opposite. There you go. And we are done for modeling part. So unselect this. Click here. Go to un unwrap UVW. Now open UV Map Editor. And click here, and select checker pattern. As you can see, this one and this one ha is messed up, and we are, and we need to fix it. So let's uh, click here for polygon selection. And the reason why this is selected automatically is because before we enter unwrap UVW, that is selected. That's the last thing selected. So that's a nifty trick if you're like selecting uh, polygons. Um, and UV mapping them because when you enter UV unwrap UVW, um, the selection tools are very limited. So let's go to freeform mode, control to scale it, and by holding Alt, it will scale at the center. So let's just scale it a little bit, and let's let's grab this control. By holding, still holding control when selecting, that will select everything that you want. Now, uh, we only need to select the, out the insides, so let's unselect by holding Alt. And this one, double check if everything is selected properly. So let's go back here, Control Alt. Same drill, just go down until you get a square that is not messed up. There you go. It's not 100% accurate, but that will do. Now we are now finished. If you if you want like one texture, if you're going to use like one texture for a crate. Just um. Pretty much just tools, render UV template, and do what, and just render it. But we are making a Crash Bandicoot TNC crate, so let's try to grab this. This is uncheck this, ignore back facing. Ignore back facing is uh, if you uncheck this, I when this is ticked, when you select everything in uh, in front, it will not select at the back. And by unchecking this, it will select everything, even though it, it's on the back. So the trick here, by selecting that, let's go to the, to like front view wireframe, uh, front viewport, unselect this, and as you can see here, when you go back, it's only selected on one side. But we need to select everything on on the sides because it's a TNT crate. So let's just select this. There you go, and not the top and the bottom. Now let's just hold by click holding it. It will change the the movement. I'm doing this so it's more accurate. As you can see, it's not moving up and down. It's only moving left and right. 
There you go. Turn the turn, turn this back. Make this smaller. This must be inside the box right here as possible unless it's a tile texture. You can go beyond this. If it's a seamless texture like a floor or something. But as much as possible it must be inside this box. That's one. And this here is for the nitro crate. But I will just show you how to make a TNT crate. If you can do this TNT crate, it's pretty much the same for the nitro crate. So we are pretty much done. Let's do this. Ah oh, wait, let's try to combine. Control control poly, let's try to make another one. By clicking that and shifting to the left, it will make a copy. Let's say nitro, nitro crate. This is TNT crate. TNT crate. Don't forget to press enter because some it will not change the name if you just type and just move and click this again. Okay, there's nitro crate, TNT crate. And I made a mistake because I'm going to combine this as one so it will be the same name so let's go back to unwrap UVW open UV editor now this time I'm gonna grab this uncheck this first grab everything from that box now this time up and down key move this downwards check double check if it's inside this make sure there you go that's a nitro crate and this is a TNT crate or other way around so now we are now oops control Z to undo tools render UVW template now if you're making texture you always be in power 2 like 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 256 512 1024 and so on and so forth so I'm just gonna use a 512 texture It depends on the game by the way, if it's important, uh, it has to be more detailed or if the camera is near the object or always near the object or the object is important, always make the texture as high as possible. And of course, if there's like for uh, hardware limitations or it's not important, make it smaller. So let's render, render UV template. As you can see, that's the template. Make sure it's not overlapping each other because that's not that's not what we need. So let's save the image. Name this template. Dot PNG for the format. The PNG dot PNG. Now save. Um, always check this. This is transparency alpha channel. This is, and go for here because I think the default is like this. But this is the normal PNG colors, the 24 bit. And okay, press just press OK, and that's my template now. Convert this back to poly, or just right click and collapse to yes. Press yes, and it will go back to polygon. Now let's go to here, render surface map. This only works on polygons. So if you have a mesh, convert it to poly. Convert the surface map. Now, same. It has to be same as the texture that we want. Make this seam bleed to one. Because if seam bleed to like higher than that, it will overlap uh, parts of the texture. So let's uh, choose something like cavity map, density, dust, subsurface, scattering map, and ambient occlusion. I'm gonna use an ambient occlusion to like for the shadows and stuff. So let's click that. As you can see, that's the shadow. Save this. I'm gonna nickname this um, AO. So it's faster. That PNG. Now uncheck this because we don't need transparency. Uh, you can use maps with check and uncheck this, but it's the file is more smaller if this is unchecked. If you don't have transparency as much as possible, don't leave this check, okay? 
then press OK and that's done now let's go to our editor texture editor program you can use Sci, GIMP um, and Photoshop but I'm going to use Photoshop so let's open those two files AO and template PNG now right click duplicate now for AO.png let's name this template it's okay now let's gonna I'm gonna add some color I'm just gonna add simple colors green nitro crate and a TNT crate there you go uh, let's group this control G then the folder multiply so you can use that shadow map now I'm not gonna put like wood textures here because that will take time I'm just gonna put like a TNT and a nitro name on it so it's fast so let's put the TNT TNT Make this yellow. Make that yellow. Maybe this is outside, so it's not dark. There you go. Control T to transform it and scale it and stuff. Same goes to Nitro. I just duplicate this. Control J to duplicate, by the way, in Photoshop. Now press T for text tool. Let's just name it natural. Gonna make it smaller. Natural. There you go. Well, I can use this template as a texture. Let's, I'm just gonna do it like that and like that. Wait. So, there you go. Because this is a cartoon, cartoonish fun game. Crash Bandicoot is a cartoonish game. So there you go. I'm gonna save this. Save is as the raw file as much as possible, so you can edit this uh, anytime. Let's, let's name it like boom underscore create. Save this. Now save as, we saved it as a PSD file for editing purposes, now we're going to use as a final output uh, image, a PNG, JPEG, whatever, PNG works best, but it's heavier in file size compared to JPEG, but it is more cleaner and crispier, so save, the CS6, uh, CS6, so that you won't see this compression type, but you will see this just choose interlace so it's more higher quality and just press ok now go go here let's close this now press m or by pressing here because the standard is by the way it's like this oh wait here's the other one there you go this is standard the slate material editor you can go you can go to the standard, the old school one, by holding this and just choose the top option by the classic material editor. Um, I can, uh, this is used, well, I've been using Max for 2000, um, the 2008 version, so this is 2008 version. And the state editor, I think it's around 2012, 2010, I think. So this is what we use, the material editor the classic one let's go to diffuse the, the box here choose bitmap click this click this show shaded material in viewport so it will appear on our model so as you can see that's pretty much it guys there's a little bit of like bleeding stuff because it's rendering in max so that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. 
and post some comments on if, on what you want to see next time. Well, this is Urban Fox Gamer signing out.